seriously I'm having trouble. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a real quick intro because this is caked on my face, it's kind of hard to talk. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, and as you can see, this is going to be a tutorial or how I created this White Walker from Game of Thrones. I just started watching it. In fact, I binge watched all six seasons in like two weeks. I didn't tell anybody I was watching, I just watched it and didn't think I was gonna like it. And of course, loved it like the rest of America. So, even if you don't know who this character is, I still think it's a really cool video to see. It's probably going to be pretty long because this took me at least six hours or so. Um, so it was pretty challenging for me, but I like how it came out. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, please keep watching. Alright, so a few things to start. We have some Vaseline, some Sinwax from Maneron, and we're first going to just put this on our fingers just so that it works a little bit easier with the wax. And then I'm going to take this handy dandy butter knife, I'm sure this isn't that safe, but you can use something better. And then go ahead and just start to mold bits and pieces of this mold into the things that I want to make. So here as you can see I've made one of the horns that I'm going to be putting on my head later. And that's all I'm doing is just kind of preparing these little tiny pieces. And they don't have to be perfect because you're going to mold them even more when they actually get to your face later. So I've pretty much prepared all of them. These are the ones I'm making, the two for the front, some horns. These are for the cheeks, and then these are the rest of the horns. So, all right, we're ready to get going. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is all pretty sped up because this took me like six hours. So please bear with me, I'll explain it the best I can. So I'm first just going in and just drawing out where everything's gonna be. This first layer of paint is just going to be extremely rough because we're gonna be putting a lot of stuff over as far as shading, highlighting, just a ton of texture. So. Nothing has to be nice and pretty, <laughs> it does, it's okay if it's streaky. I actually only did a couple coats of each of the shades. If I wanted it to be less streaky, I would do a couple more. But today, this is just a base. Don't even worry about it. So I'm just going ahead and filling these spaces in with the white Mehran paint. And I'm just doing a couple layers as you can see. First, I'm going to be doing all the white areas, and then I'll do the black, and then I'll start going into shade. So I'm going to go on ahead and just let you watch, and then I'll come back when I move on to the next step. Alright, so now I'm going to start working on this little medallion in the center of the shield. And now I'm just really outlining the areas. And this is supposed to be really rough looking, like I said. Lots of dimension, so don't worry if you make mistakes. This is not have to be perfect. I'm going in with this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade Stealth. It's like a very gray-blue. It's a beautiful shade. And I'm just shading a couple areas. Again, you're going to be going over with lots of textures, lots of colors, especially here with the sponge. So I'm just cutting it in half because I only need a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with this blue shade. This is a cream paint. It's like a light blue. And I'm just going over all of that, again, to create some more texture. I'll be doing the same thing for all of the white. Of course, I sped this up even more because that's all I'm doing. I'm just dabbing it around. Does not have to be perfect. Just creating some dimension. Going back in with some white as well and making some more dimension. Back to the shield. I'm going to do some highlighting. This is with some cream paint. This is Clown White from Mehran. And I wanted a little bit more dimension, so I just added some with the sponge. Now I'm just going to highlight just the top areas there where the white meets the black, which is really where the shield is. Again, this is just to give it some dimension with the darker shading and then also with the lighter shading. Now I'm just working on the metal collar of the armor. I'm using that white cream paint, that clown paint from Mehran, just to create those little folds within the metal. It's really hard to make this kind of an illusion like that, so all I'm doing is just creating these upward motion little lines, kind of curving them at some points, and then also almost shading and bringing that uh, actual color, the white, just melting it really into the skin. I don't spend too, too much time on this because my face is going to be looking down. You won't really see the collar as, as much. Just clean the edges up just a little bit, just with some black eyeshadow. Now we're moving to the actual armor itself. It really just looked like there was little tiny buttons almost, or really little inlets where the metal was. So what I'm doing here is just taking the black eyeshadow, 
I believe this is Dark Matter from Melt, and just using an eyeliner brush and just creating that dimension, really trying to create just the bottom pieces and then I'll go upwards and you'll see exactly how I kind of created all of the different depths throughout the actual um, metal vest. So I can't emphasize enough that this is definitely not something that you have to do perfectly. If anything, it's better to do it messy. I'm not making any of those little lines perfect. I'm really just doing as much as I want in these little areas and then moving on to the next. So here I'm just using some eyeshadow, just a shade. I'm not really going by the typical, if you highlight here, you should shade here. I'm really just doing dark shades in some places and light shades in others. And that's really because the actual shield itself doesn't really have any one or two specific colors. It really is just all different types of dimension, has that metal feel, and it just looks awesome. So here I decided I want to go back in with the black, which actually worked out well because I'd already painted white. This kind of created this gray effect, and I really liked what it did there. Now, again, going back over some of the work we did, I put a bunch of white paint. This is all about layers and dimensions, so really what I'm doing is just adding some colors, adding some detail, adding more color on top of it just to kind of disperse that shades, those shades, and then going back and really defining some areas. Again, going back in with some black eyeshadow. And I'm basically just gonna let you watch to see how I kind of created all of this whole side of the shield. For the sake of this six hour video, I'm really just gonna try and cut it down and just show you just the side. And now, param, the other side is done and we're gonna go ahead and move to the face. <laughs> Now this is the fun part. I've already put the bald cap on. That stuff is hilarious to do, so I didn't put it in here. Maybe another video I'll do just of bald caps. But here what I'm doing is blocking out my eyebrows. I don't block them out for color, really just because of the texture and we be putting stuff here. So first you're gonna go in, do a layer of the glue. This is just store-bought craft glue. And then I'm taking a spoolie, and you really wanna get on every single piece of those eyebrows. I'm really just flattening these to make sure that the glue picks up all throughout the eyebrows. I promise it's fine for you to put this glue on your brows. Now I'm gonna set it with this Ben 9 Neutral Set. Any powder will do, just to kind of let it set, let it sit there. I let it sit for like 30 seconds, and then I dust it off. <laughs> and now I'm going in with another layer. You really are just trying to get this smooth across your face. So again, doing the same thing, just layering that glue, layering the glue taking that spoolie, really making it all smooth, making it as flat to my face as possible. If I were doing a real look and not actually covering them with something, I would then go in and conceal them at this point, but that's not really what this look is about. I would be putting foundation and concealer on top of them, but really this was honestly just to cover it, to make it safe for the latex and the other things I was putting on top of it. Here I just got so excited. <laughs> Here just going in and putting some latex just around the edges of where the ball cap was and then also over my eyebrows. Again, this is really just protection because I'm gonna be putting some wax and some spirit glue on top of this area and you don't wanna put that directly on your eyebrows. So that's really what I was doing. All right, so here come these little chicken-like looking wax pieces. <laughs> these are the things we made in the very beginning. Again, I had already molded them out ahead of time, but they're gonna be molded here as well. So I took some spirit glue, put it on my face, pressed it on, and now I'm just molding it to however I want. Spirit glue is great, but just make sure that you prepare it and you have spirit glue from remover to take it off later. I'm taking a makeup spatula and really just creating a little bit more dimension within that piece. I know this looks ridiculous at this point, but promise me or <laughs> that you'll just stick around and just wait to see what it looks like in the end. Doing the same thing to the other side, again, the way you're, where you put these and the way they're molded now, don't worry about it because you can mold them as much as you want once they're on. So all I'm doing is placing it and really keeping the tops of those pieces off of the head because I want them to look as though they're coming off. So I'm just repeating that process with all the pieces that we made. So I'm putting down the spirit glue, trying to mold onto my head those little pieces and then molding it a little bit more to get that pointy look that I wanted and then moving on to the next one. So I'll go ahead and let you just watch me just put on all these little icicle type things. I know this is so hard to imagine that it's gonna look like something in the end, but I promise it is. So I'm just putting some spirit glue on my face. This is where I'm gonna be putting these kind of additional cheek enhancements, I would say. This is not necessary whatsoever, but I felt like it. So I'm taking that mold again. This All the mold I'm using is still that same Sin Wax from earlier from Mayron. 
And you know, the more you work with it in your hands, the more it's going to loosen up and really mold how you want it. But you can also use this Vaseline just a little bit to help it mold better. So that's what I did. I just put these kind of cheek implants in and we're going to be covering them anyways. So don't even, this is actually totally optional, but I'm just going to make these little mold ears just because in the picture he does have these pointed ears. And then I put a little bit of spear glue on those as well. I didn't show it here, but I did. Oh, and then my camera stopped, but don't worry, I'll explain what's going on here. I'm taking some latex and just going over with the beauty sponge over all those areas. If you were doing something that needed to have a smooth face, you would not be doing this step, but I wanted some more dimension. I wanted it to look rough. There's no white walker that looks nice and pretty. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. It's just a bunch of layers of latex. You'll see why later. And my nose was just a little bit too thin, didn't quite look like the White Walker. So that's what I'm doing here is kind of creating this really disgusting, ugly nose. I know this looks terrible already, but this is where, for me, it really started to look disgusting. I was grossed out looking in the mirror, couldn't take myself seriously. <laughs> it's just, it's funny to watch. So again, I'm just molding it really throughout my nose. You're going to be painting all of this anyway, so don't worry about what it looks exactly, but just try and get it as smooth as you can. And as you can see, I'm kind of making it mold up into my eyes where that, uh, where the eyebrows used to be at least, and just molding that nostril there just to look just like the picture, just like the White Walker. So I mixed a few shades on a plate. I used blue, I used white, a little bit of black, and this color that I'm painting the cap, it wasn't white what I wanted. I thought it was a little bit blue, so you'll see me here after bringing in a little bit more white. And that's fine. You know, honestly, if you can find a color that works for you, that's great. If not, just mix up and uh, you'll get colors like this. Um, so I'm just painting the bald cap. A lot of people say you have to put on top of a bald cap some castor oil or something to help it really stay. I don't, I've never had that problem, but I don't know, you can possibly do it if you'd like. So here I am just filling in all of my face with this paint. Again, it's okay. It looks really bumpy, gross. All that latex looks disgusting. You're going to be putting a bunch of stuff on top of it, so don't even worry about that. Just think about the end result. So like I said, this was a little bit too dark, so I went back in and decided to put some white on it. And then you'll see here in just a moment, that's what I ended up doing. I actually think by going back in with the white, it kind of made another cool effect because parts of it were darker, some parts were light. I don't know, I just really love how this came out. So I'm just going all over again. Again, this is just white that I'm putting on, but because it was so dark, it made this kind of light blue color. I'm just putting a little bit of white on all these little tips that are on my head, these little icicle type things. We're gonna be putting some sparkly type stuff on them later, so you don't have to spend too much time on them either. So going into the eyes, I'm just taking a black eyeshadow. I really wanna hollow out this area. So I'm just putting this black on top of my eye and below it. I'm kind of leaving the center blank because that's where we're going to draw on the eyes later. So just basically go all up where and near where your eyebrow used to be in the socket there and just blend it as much as you can, as much as you can for looking like this. <laughs> and then you'll just again do the top and bottom. Of course, you can still see the waterline as a color. So I'm going to be going in just a sec and just doing a black eyeliner on the bottom. But this whole area should be fairly black because I am, like I said, drawing on the eyes. So it should look as much of an illusion as possible as though they are real eyes. So it should be really, really dark in this area. I'm also just giving these little horn type things some dimension and now I'm gonna go in and start to draw my face and all the wrinkles and the disgustingness. And although it already has all these crevices and weird bumps and stuff, we're gonna kind of create some more. I'm doing that, kind of some wrinkles around the nose right now. And again, all I'm using here is just a black eyeshadow and an eyeliner brush. So again, going in, just drawing in the wrinkles, I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this part because all I'm doing is just creating a bunch of lines all throughout the top of the skull. As you can see, I'm honestly, again, not being perfect about anything because I'm just going to keep layering and layering and adding shading and then highlighting. So don't think that this is the end. Just go ahead and watch and enjoy.
you guys still with me? <laughs> I'm just again letting you watch. All I'm doing is just using that black eyeshadow just to create a bunch of different lines and wrinkles and grossness. So go ahead and keep watching and I'll check back in soon. So since we did so much shading, now I'm just going in with a white cream paint. Again, this is Clown White from Mayron, and I'm just trying to give a little bit of lightness and a little bit of highlight to all the shading that I've done. So just in between all the wrinkles, just anywhere that you feel is looking a little bit too dark. Of course, you know I'm going to highlight that nose because even though I'm a white walker, I'm still going to highlight my nose like usual. Just highlighting anywhere I feel I want to have a little bit more of a highlight and brightness to it. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch this and I'll be back soon. I also want to mention that, of course, I obviously you can see the back of my arm there. I'm only doing this amount of makeup in these areas just because I'm only doing this for the camera. But if I was going out and actually doing this for a party or something, I obviously would have done all the back of my head, trying to do as much of my body as I can. Like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to put some eyeliner in the waterline just to create more darkness in that area because I don't want anything looking light because I'm going to be drawing the eyes over on my actual eyelid. So that's all I'm doing here is just making sure that, that area is really dark. Alright, I'm going back in with the eyeshadow, just again making it darker and darker. Oh, love this powder. This is from Ben Nye. This isn't necessarily like sparkles, it's just such a cool glitter type thing. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's so finely milled. I'm just putting these on top of all the little tips just because it will look a little bit more like it's glistening, just like the White Walker. Going in with some blue paint from Mayron and creating that blue extreme eye. This is really what I think brings it all together. Going with the blue, a little bit of white, and then I'll draw on the actual black pupil. And that's the end, guys. This is so exciting. I love this look. I hope that you liked it too. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.